All right, so I was, I was looking all over for a utility pin so that I could hang change plates on my Rogue Yoke, which is, uh, has the two by three um, uprights, and then they have the five eight, or a five, yeah, five eights holes. And I couldn't find any of like that. I think the Monster Light series also has five eighths holes. So anyways, I made this, which is kind of the same thing. And what I did was I found these 10 inch leg bolts, five eighths leg bolts. And then I also found this plumbing pipe and then this other plumbing pipe, it's a little bit bigger. And then these serrated um, nuts, and then these kind of skinny nuts, along with, of course, the standard washers, and put them all together. Oh, along with um, these little skinny, other skinny washers, creates a pretty cool uh, utility pen. So the finished product looks like looks like this, and so you have your leg bolt and then the two pipes that are stacked on each other and then the serrated bolt and then the little washer here and then you take a bigger washer and the small nut and then you can just kind of see how it slides in like that put the other washer on All right, and it's pretty good, um, especially because um, you can just kind of hand tighten it and then it's perfectly fine for, I think, you know, a couple plates. Then you can also, you can loosen it up. It kind of takes two hands here. There we go. It's pretty easy to loosen up and if you want to move it around. No big deal. You can move it around pretty easy. So, I'll show you how I made it. Pretty simple. So, I measured out. This is... So, and I just used this... Uh, this kind of a saw. So now I've got all these other ones cut to the size six and three quarters. And you need these different sizes because uh, even though this bolt is 10 inches, you have to have room to go through the upright. All right, so then you got them all cut. Then you see the little um, end there. In order for the pipe to fit over that, you have to cut some slots in the end. Okay, and now you can see I've cut the four slots in the end. That way they can slip over the bolts so then I was able to cut all three extra ones of these down to size and it makes a nice clean cut however it does have these funny markings here so I go ahead and sand that off with just a block of sandpaper all right then after that oops now it's just a plain looking pipe then you gotta put a little bit of electrician's tape on your bolt so that when you slide the first pipe on there, it has a nice good tight fit. So about four times around with the electrician's tape, I found it's a good, it makes a good tight fit. And then you squeeze This part squeeze that part until it comes over like that. 
and then this part's secure and that part's secure, then you're gonna to wanna to take some additional electrician's tape, put a little bit over this part. Again, maybe three this time. One, two, three, and then you put the second pipe over that. Now it has a nice kind of secure fitting. There we go. Nice secure fit. And then you put the serrated washer on, or a nut on. And then you crank that on there. And then the little washer. And then you have one more ready to go. You'll just slip that on the upright, slip this one on the other side, and boom, you got it going on. So I'm gonna do um, two more of these, and then I'll have a set of four. I'll also show you this part. Um, and when you're putting this serrated washer on, or the serrated nut on, then um, what I like to do is use one of these vice grips on the end of the uh, carriage bolt. That way you can really kind of tighten this down a little bit more. And that'll really hold that. There we go. So here are all my utility pegs here. And now I'm gonna install them. Got these installed. As you can see, I mean, that's not going anywhere. So I'm just gonna put some change plates up there. Up high. And then uh, more along this side here. just fine and then down low I've installed these ones down here and again I mean not a big deal I did not want to put them in the middle where I bump into them if I'm doing bench or something like that so these will take some of my plates down here and again they're plenty plenty strong I mean just for you know these weights yeah, they're gonna be fine there we go. Fits pretty good. Good little getting stuff off the floor, making loading weights a little easier. You know, I mean, real nice and sturdy. You can see how they're only kind of hand tightened and then probably maybe half a turn with the wrench. So they're really easy to remove when I want to remove them. Maybe if I wanted to use them for something else. There you go. Now my uh, plates are off the floor. <laughs> Utility pegs, homemade utility pegs.